Welcome to the Morning Cop 2016 Fetty Attack vs. Bell Clan. Yeah, it's a best of three, and winner goes through to Ten the seconds seconds remaining. Uh, Chiefs. Yeah. Five I seconds reckon first bonds will be OG. And okay, I'm Costum. Dire Team Bell. Radiant Team Bell. So, no real surprises there, uh, as expected. Ten seconds remaining. Same set of bands. Um, Very standard bands to begin with. Auto Bank Bell Bell Clan banning out the laundry to begin with. Yeah, interesting bar. Perhaps a bad experience earlier on in the tournament. That hero has been quite useful, especially in the hands of Destination Requiem, so... A standard ban, I would say, for this tournament. Ten seconds I think remaining. MFZ, as well, that's playing as MM Fetty Attack 76 is standard. It's a bit of a low trade. Radiant yeah. team pick. One trade your ban there as well for mid. So three mids already banned out. Only low and druid can be bid in a pinch as well. So Death. technically four. Ooh. Spec to the hero not being banned on the first four bands. And is going to be instantly picked up by Bell Gaming. Zeus also out in the pool along with Sans of Hero. Maybe a global strat would be nicer. Yeah, no, that's definitely a possibility. What do you fancy for um Ten seconds remaining? Taking out a spectre there. Five Other seconds than remaining down really early, so we don't get any fire. Zeus. Oh, Zeus is gonna be picked so up. So the Zeus is here being picked up by Fetty Attack. Perhaps as a pick to stop Bell Clan themselves taking it. Obviously, the Zeus and Spectre combo is incredibly potent, boasting almost a 70% win rate in pubs. So, yeah, maybe just a deny pick here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, probably. I think that's, that seems legit. I mean, they're going to get second pick now as well. Um, what do you fancy for uh, Five Fetty seconds Attack 7 remaining. to go with the Zeus? Face this boy. Radiant team pick. Well, faceless fly picked up for the offlane. That hero really shining in the offlane at the moment. Dangerous beast. Radiant team pick. So. Face this boy as as the uh, second pick for Fetty Attack. Immediately countered with a, a a quick Venge pick here. They're very strong to swap the uh, carry out of the Chronosphere. Obviously, Spectre has a hard time against Void, especially in the mid game. Ten and a nice support pick remaining. there. Yeah. Also, her stun's quite useful um, in the running back spot. It's a really strong support pick for uh, Bell Gaming. Reserve time. Dire team bell. It's an interesting ban. I'm not sure. Clinks is a safe lane farmer that Fetty attack 786 were looking for. I presume Zeus will go mid. Clinks here going to be the third ban for Bell Clan. Remaining. Quite a strong off laner against the Spectre. And obviously they want to get her nice and farmed. Remaining. I know, but I suspect the face of body will be the Reserve off lane here, time. I would think. Third ban then for Fetty Attack 786, taking a little bit of time, eating into reserve time here, thinking about this one. Um. Gonna ban the task, okay. Radiant um, Team Bell. Want to try and have their safe lane farm. First task ban of the tournament, as far as I'm aware. I've not seen, seen him ban out in any, in any other draft so far. So perhaps this is some sort of 
I don't even know. I, I don't know why they would ban Tusk. Perhaps it's something they don't like to come up against. I think they're trying to protect the Safeling Kari. I think we saw a Tusk ban in the... Reserve time. Um, I think it was Team Straight. I think when they played it, I think they played a Tusk Techies. And I think both the Tusk and the Techies were banned out in the next game. I'm not sure. Witch Doctor ban. Dire well, I mean, team ban. Bit attack 76 still looking for support. So here, very sensible ban the Witch Doctor, simply because that Chrono plus the Witch Doctor ulti makes for a pretty horrible team fight as long as they get it. The entire combo. Um, yeah, Witch Doctor has to be really careful with the placement of his ulti now. It remaining. doesn't go through uh, Chrono anymore. So. Yeah, I'd very much like Five to see a, a try lane from Belkan just to secure the Spectre farm. But um, they're going to be struggling for mid laners now, as TA is also banned out. So the Invoker, Wind Ranger, OD, and even the TA all gone. There's not that many mid laners now that can really get a lot out of mid laner against the Zeus. Although there is the Viper still left in the pool, and he can be quite a nuisance to Zeus. Maybe a Lina. Um, I don't know, he has a lot of spam, so I mean, even a Bristle, maybe to pick up a wand early. Ten seconds remaining. Just stack charges. Uh, Dragonite, I think, would do okay Five as well. Seconds if remaining. Able to stay in the lane. Zeus is spam. It does a lot of damage uh, over time. Reserve not, time. Like, you can just regenerate it up. Especially if you get a bottle. So. I don't know, though. Um, maybe Arc Warden would be quite good mid here. I think he's in Captain's mid, AB. Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman then, that's a nice pick up. Radiant um, team doesn't pick. synergize too well. Shaman being picked well. up here by 30 attacks, so... But if it, if strong lane support, support but also there. more orient orientated towards pushing, so... A very good pick against Spectre, nevertheless. Good, with a Hex and the ability to take early towers. Very valuable hero. Yeah, it certainly ticks the boxes. There we go. Uh, hello. Ten and, seconds uh, remaining. Finally got the mic working there. Five seconds remaining. Looks like we are joined by Phoenix Suave and, and Tad, my good friend, who was kind of new to Dota, but will hopefully comment on stuff and help us out and actually give some conversation. Pick up could be a. I mean, maybe they want to look for their mid now before the last set of bans. Nix assassin. Nix assassin for the offline or for Dire the mid, team maybe? pick. Quite like that versus Zeus. Not so sure about this next pick here with the Zeus already having the uh, ability to see him, but it's a decent early game against Zeus, provided you can uh, secure the lanes. Reserve time. And it will help Spectre to farm if he gets a couple of pickoffs. Yeah, he can. It does have the potential to create space, but Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter is going to be the carrier for 30 attack. Very strong laner, very strong early game, and a really nice pick to almost complete their, their well rounded team. Yeah, it's a really nice balance that they've picked up there. They've got a lot of AoE team fight. They've got a lot of lockdown. And uh, yeah, I mean, as far yeah, as Nix is going to have to be very careful on, in that lane. Comes and the last slot could, of course, be an extra, an extra support for the try lane, or could even be something like a bounty hunter to, since it's not banned out, to to roam to the safe lane or mid lane. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. So the pickup for Bell Gaming, going into reserve time, thinking about Earth this. Spirit. Earth Spirit really the nice hell pick up. Earth Spirit yeah. being picked up. High skill cap hero here. It'd be interesting to see how much effect he actually has on the early game, but of course if used correctly he could prove really really effective in uh, getting to the middle late game for the Spectre. 
Not seeing too much team synergy, however, in Belgfan's draft so far. There's not a huge amount of team fight, and it's going to have to rely on the uh, pickoffs from Nyx in the mid game and Earth Spirit in the early game to be really effective. Whereas, of course, the Zeus, the Void with the Chrono, the Wards, and the uh, Gyro, much more team fight based and a lot more early game based. So I think well. Belgfan really needs some team fight control and some anti push right now. And a real meta team. Oh, Death Prophet ban out team by back. Fate Attack 786. That was a decent mid that was left in the pool. And yep, they know. I think that maybe the Bell Gaming are going to play Nyx in the off lane. So, quite a strong ban. 10 seconds remaining. 5 seconds remaining. Reserve time. I mean, what have they got left for mid? Dire like, are going to ban out the silencer as well? What the hell? It's got to be Lena, right? Ten seconds remaining. I mean, Fetty Attack are looking for another support. They could pick up a Five support seconds here, remaining. Right? Two Bell Gaming. Bell I mean, that makes Bell Gaming totally speed. But they are going to go with the Bounty Hunter. Radiant team pick. So kind of as I predicted, the bounty under being picked up going to be a really useful asset to get mid and kind of complete their lineup as a whole. Ten yeah, seconds remaining. Bounty hunter. That was well spotted. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Well, final pick then for Bell Gaming. It's got to be a mid, I guess. Unless Earth Spirit goes mid, I guess. That could work. Quop, which was still in the pool. So, Quop going to be the last pick up here for Bell Clan. A good semi counter pushy hero. Hopefully won't struggle too much against the Zeus and Bounty Hunter mid. Yeah, she's got a bit and of And once again if um, if she can hold off the waves long enough for Spec to get farm, they stand a good chance. Okay, just a normal disconnect on, um, yeah, the normal disconnects on Luxembourg there. We're just going to get straight to it just now, have a little look and see what items have been picked up. There is a smoke on uh, the Banner King for Bell Gaming. It will be Lambda on the spec there, Big Daddy, uh, Bob's FS Crazy on the Nyx, the Banner King, aka Princess Diana on Venge Spirit, uh, Blainatron on Earth Spirit, and... Uh, S7VY on the Quap. Kingy will pick up the Gyrocopter. My gratitude. Antonio Lamal on the old Void, Faceless Void in the offline I expect. MFC on the Roaming Bounty. Make Bloodseeker great on the Zeus and Alex, of course, on the Shadow Shaman. I think, uh, I think that's a bit of a swap around from normal. So we are going to see an early smoke. The 
going to wrap around into this top jungle here. Thirty seconds to battle. So PFC just going to invis up there and uh, going to avoid the smoke here. Gonna waste the 50 gold, but they will hopefully secure the top room here. Um, I expect they'll manage to secure that. So make Bloodseeker great again. We'll pick up the uh, rune on Zeus. The battle begins. And we'll pick up the rune um, for Belgaming. So it just goes evenly to the mids there. We did get a sentry ward placed here to spot out the ward, but they instead blocked uh, this one here. It's uh, this one. Oop, can't draw them up, awesome. Blanatron just sitting, looking, waiting. Keep an eye on the last hits and work. an eye. No, he didn't actually. He messed it up. Nope. Yay, he got his first last hit. Looks like there's a bit of action going on top here. Just going to see what's happening. Nope. Oh, Lambda taking a lot of damage from Antonio. <laughs> going to have to pop another Tango. Double damage! Freddy Hunter then picking up the double damage, having a little look at the farming here. Lambda on six last hits, Jagocopter in the opposite lane on seven. Antonio Lamal though on five versus the opposite number of uh, Big Daddy Blobs FS Crazy sitting on four. Oh, Lambda really low here. He needs to be careful. Are we close to what the six out of Zeus? No, we're not even close. But Antonio could just just jump in there and just beat him down. There we go. We got Blainatron coming in though, and Antonio Lamal going to be in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to uh, use the uh, time walk to get out, but he is slowed by that shadow dagger. Here's the stun to follow up and the pal, and now the time lapse is on out though. Time violation, block the spectre from doing anything, and will he get the first blood here? Well, well I'm kind. Our spirit. Rewind. <laughs> Great trade out, managed to buy out before the death happened. Meanwhile, Alex getting caught at the top here, Big Daddy catching him with the butter strike. And Pale. Great rotation from Blainatron there. Not so much rotation, but positioning wise, but he played in the support capacity here and um, securing the kill and safety in the lane there. 
still, even with that extra space, Lambda still behind on last hits. Can we have a look at the net worth? Beautiful. The entire. Give my best to the ancestors. Oh, Alex and Kingy picking up the kill on top there. Yep, Spectre Dyer's trailing tower is under attack. the entire Dire team, more or less, in farm at the moment. Bringing some wards to mid. Is there a smoke? There was a smoke. Gonna see a smoke gank attempt from 30 attack 76 now. Gonna try and wrap round onto the Queen of Pain. They need to be careful. There needs to be a lot of lockdown in order to take care of her. Yeah, they are gonna get spotted out. It's too far for shackles and they're just gonna rotate out. There's nothing they can do. Planetron sitting on the high ground waiting to counter initiate with the rolling boulder. Those last hits for Spectre sitting on 20. Just a really poor farm and performance by Lambda here. Not able to find the early farm as much as he should do, missing easy last hits. And it's really got to be concerning for his team Fortune's as chain. it progresses. Sit. Next getting caught by the gyrocopter, more farm Stay going his way. Blanistron going to be next on the chopping no. block. He's going to go down no. to the bounty hunter. <laughs> Radiance no level top 6, thankfully, so no extra gold. And now, um, Shadow Shaman is here with the shackles, and it looks like the Banter King might go down here. The uh, time lapse forward, the stun to counter it. There is the Chronosphere. No! My debt to life is paid. Rotation by Stevie though, with the screen, and um, just going to go ahead and obliterate the Shadow Shaman there. But overall, going to be quite happy. Oh, actually, it was two for one, maybe not. King Radiance top wounded, tower but they're going to push attack. in on this top tower at uh, 428 hit points. Radiance top tower is under attack. Planetron with the rotation, the bottom inspector picks up phase boots. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower has fallen. Top tower going the way of the dire then. No defense, no rotation to help out there at all. Specter still level five at eight minutes. on level 7, Nyx on level 5, and our spirit on Radiance level 3. Radiance top tower is under attack. So all of the lanes then Her lost, the I think, pretty much by, uh, I don't know, the Queen of Pain actually ahead here, as far as farm's concerned. More far. Radiance yeah, top farm tower is levels. under attack. That kill on the Shadow Shaman really helping out, but Kingy continuing to press his luck here. 
There will be wards from the Shadow Shaman no time soon. Mm. TPM from Blaine and Sean. There's the rolling boulder, but it's slightly whiffed. He goes for the kick. He does catch two. And it does mean another kill Radiance for Middle Tower is under here attack. for sure. Don't kill the messenger. Great little kick from Blaine and Sean. Catching two and allowing them to secure the kill on the Shadow Shaman. Lambda getting gone on by Antonio Lamau here. Here's Zeus. Oh, and they absolutely blow that Spectre up. That's not going to be fun. Gold loss, only 455. 149 gold loss, so not the end of the world. Radiant's he did bottom buy tower out is under two attack. parts of his urn, so nine minute urn. Good, good game, well played. really costing his team at the moment not finding the farm that he should have sitting fifth on the net worth here all of the carries on 30 attack 76 ahead of him even the off laner faces void 200 gold ahead so trapping him in sub ultimate hell Still sitting on level 5. Uh, uh, uh. Here comes Banner King though. And Quop finds a kill on the Bounty Hunter mid. <laughs> Scream onto Antonio Lamal, but where's Spectre? There's the stand, here's the, the rolling rock, but there's the Chronosphere. Banner King going to go down once again. Blanatron going to be next. No, they're going to pick on the Spectre. There's going to be a lot of damage. She's going to Spectral Dagger out. Going to try and find Blanatron. Oh, the lightning bolt catches him and gives up the Spectre's location as well. He goes down once again and uh, only the Quop actually showing any kind of any kind of resilience in this match so far. Going to pick up that kill on the top tower is under attack. middle tower is under attack. So, Kingy and Alex, meanwhile, pushing top lane here. Dyer's middle tower is under Looks attack. Looks like they should secure it before Blaine is able top to tower respond. Has fallen. That's going to give the gold advantage back to uh, Betty Attack's carries, putting them ahead of the Queen of Pain now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, Lambda, 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 so out of position. Doesn't have his level 6 yet, so he's got no escape. He does have a TP, though. Um, he's going to go in at the bottom here, and he's got away with it. Luckily, everyone else seems to have bailed for now. I'm pretty sure this bounty hunter can cause havoc himself, though he is level 6. He's going to go and rumble him a little bit. Still sitting sub 3k net worth the urn unfinished 12 minutes here we go then I am gonna renewed. have the bounty hunter drop the gets the track up and see his gold looking for another janada crit combo oh gonna counter with the spectral dog he finds his level 6 now so he can't ult but and cho chooses to tp instead Gonna TP back to base. Oh, Alex, looking for the Banner King. Gonna have to be careful. Here comes uh, Big Daddy, Blobs FS Crazy. Bounty Hunter, Invis, scouting it out. This ward giving them the information about Venge. Hi, Venge. Here we go. The track is on her. Rotation now, though, from Blainatron also coming down. Gonna see a movement. There's three bottom here for Dyer. They're gonna look to push this tower, secure this uh, jungle at entrance. Spectre, 52 last hits. No, not bad. Versus uh, Gyro on 74. Does finally get the iron finished up though at 13 minutes. Hopefully we can start to build 
Destroying Stevie there. Oh, crap. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Great little reaction um, track from Bank Hunter. Gonna give them vision of the mix. Meanwhile, Radiant's bottom, bottom tower, tower, tower fall. has fallen. Kingy and Antonio Lamal pushing it in. Scouted out by the track. There's a lightning from Zeus though, followed up by the right click of the Bounty no! And Spectre manages to get the kill on Shadow Shaman. But this is a pretty disastrous fight for all concerned. Stevie's here doing so much damage. It looks like <laughs> Zeus could be in trouble. There's going to be a few more endless. Oh, Uphill Miss going to save him and actually buy the kill. That was on one Uphill Miss. Wards in a poor position, Radiant's but good bottom for the team under fight, attack. and the tower will fall Radiant regardless. Are fortified. And meanwhile, Kingy at the bottom, pushing away by himself. A little bit dangerous, a little bit overextended. Radiant's we will see a tower has fallen. It's going to be Big Radiant's Daddy, King, going to think it's been cancelled. There will be a stun. There's Dyer's a stun top right there. Tower is under attack. Followed by the Howl and the, and the stun from Venge. There could be a swap back in as well. We're going to see the ult come down from the Gyro, though, and they're both going to back out. It's too much damage. Spectre Radiant's dagger middle tower going out, is but under not quite attack. far enough. Kingy going to risk the TP, but the stun's going to find him, and that was a mistake. He is going to get caught by Spectre here, but here comes Zeus with the lightning. He's going to get silenced out by the rolling boulder, and uh, he's in a lot of trouble now. Magnetized up. Yep, he's going to go down. He doesn't escape. Unthinkable. So a little bit of an overextension by Kingy there, uh, Zeus tried to help him out, but uh, kind of did not. It did not go as planned. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I don't know, maybe Zeus could have popped it out. Maybe they were unaware how many were there. But the sentry finding MSC instantly, and uh, another casual pickup for Bell Gaming. Spectre then, barely getting anywhere near being a carry. Uh, he is going to pick up his Drums of Endurance though. He's going to be bad man Spectre. Um, just quite far behind where he should be at the moment. Double damage! Nice aggressive ward from Alex. Big Daddy Blobs. That guy's crazy though. Seems to be aware that he's there. Gonna have a little look for him now. Here comes Antonio Lamal though with the double damage. Looking for the stun. Here's Alex. Set in stone. Rolling Boulder. Gonna roll out of there. Gonna try and pull it in. But the Spectre <laughs> left <laughs> the, 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 um, uh, the devices of the uh, Dire team. We're gonna see a Chronosphere now. Surely the Chrono comes on cool down. Antonio Lamal. Mal. There we go. Just waiting, buying time for it. Catches the beautiful Chrono. There is a swap and Void will go down, but his damage is already done. The work has already been there. Blainatron, the last surviving member of Radiant here. Blink Forms with a lightning and he will go down as well. That's going to leave mid tower fully exposed. And a cheeky little taunt from Zeus. Dyer's well. top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Kingy then with the Dominator and he's going to go for the Sanj and Yash. He's got the Sanj already, he's going to pick up the Yasha. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's Meanwhile, middle tower is under attack. top tower. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to go down this way. Oh, stun Dyer's from Blobs top FS, tower crazy. is under attack. Little cheeky impale. Don't feel like Radiant's middle here. tower is under Spectre attack. Spectre exposed on their own at bottom here. Alt is up though, so there is an escape mechanism. Got a rotation from the Zeus. It's looking to farm the wave though, rather than the Spectre at this point. Right. They do have a gem, so they were chasing the Shadow Shaman. Well, 
Tony Lamal in a bit of a bad position. Three more points. Oh, we're going to see a fight here, though. MFC getting stunned out. He is in Viz. The lightning from Zeus. Lincoln with the lightning bolt as well. And uh, Nick wants to get great again. Just absolutely destroying the co-op. He will get caught out, though. Very vulnerable in that situation. MFC going to be swapped back in. He's going to be finished up as well. So overall, a Zeus and a bounty hunter for a co-op. Bell Gaming going to be very, very happy with that kill. Good amount of XP. 3,000 XP, 2,500 gold advantage from from that. Shadow Drum with the uh, illusion here, just scouting out this area. Could have spotted the um, Earth Spirit if it was a little bit deeper in. Lambda starting to find some farm. Still behind all of the cores on the dire side and the offlaner there. So, 19 minutes in, 13 to 23. I mean, I think Bell Gaming are going to have this one. Uh, Bell Game 30 Attack 7 at 16 will have this one. I'm not sure if we're ever going to see the Spectre come online. Um, I mean, yeah, he's got his drums sitting on 2k gold. So, I mean, we could maybe start to see the build up of a Radiance or a Diffusal Blade or something, you know. Blaine and Sean getting caught out in the jungle. Big Daddy is there with the stun. The magnetize on too, but the lightning uh, ult from Zeus. Oh, and here's Antonio Lamau at the back with the void on the Chronosphere on two, and they're going to get both kills out of this. There's no way that Princess Diana gets out of this. A death foretold. Zeus was there with the flash. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Meanwhile, Spectre gonna take this top tower. I don't think we're gonna see too much contention. We are gonna see a TP actually in from uh, Zeus, and that might be problematic for Spectre. There's the lightning bolt. It doesn't catch him. He's too far forward with the dagger there, and uh, they should certainly be able to get the deny though. Picks up the aggro. Get ready to deny. Uh, deny. Deny, deny, no deny. Dyer's top tower has fallen. They will trade tier Radiance one top though for tier attack. two bottom. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, here's Big Daddy getting caught out so I badly. Mean, Four yes. against one, and the bug is just obliterated. Great ward placement here from F. Alex on the high ground, both sentries and observers. Oh, lambda, lambda, lambda. Bounty looking for the tracks. Nope, he's going to go straight in with the right click. Here's Zeus with the blink. And uh, the ult to follow up. He'll take the kill. A Lambda in serious trouble here as well. He's going to get caught out by Zeus. Zeus almost going to go down to the magnetize. But it looks like he might just definitely go down to the magnetize. Gyrocopter though, there you know, so a 4 for 1 attack. exchange, uh, Fey Attack going to be super pleased with that, I have to say. Let's have a quick look at the items that we've got Radiant's finished up here. Has fallen. Still nothing of note on the level 11 Spectre, 4 levels behind the Zeus uh, main lane, safe lane, uh, no, mid lane even of Radiance Middle Fairy Tower attack. is under attack. The wards are up. This tower is going to go down. There's not much Bell Gaming can do. They can try and defend the rats. Radiance Middle um, Tower but has it's fallen. going to be dangerous. Here's Spectre then. Radiance the Middle He's going to swap in early. Attack. He's going to find the bounty hunter, but the rock and uh, the shackles plus the scream and the uh, void ult. And this is going to be no. a triple kill for uh, Betty Attack 786. To pick off the bounty hunter. A real fight going here. Antonio Lamar trying to find Bladertron on the back side of it. Only Hero on Radiant still up. The rocks are being kicked around. They're gone just. 
they're just going to wait out. They're going to take the racks and then Radiance they're going to back. Maybe the are Rochelle. under attack. Maybe we need to Radiance push middle barracks one of the other fallen. lanes. Antonio Lumao is very low on hit points at the moment. He's going to build Axe. I quite like the Blink Dagger, but each to their own. They're very far ahead, so no real issue with whatever he builds. And Spectre now behind the entire Dire team for far. A really poor performance from Lambda here. I hear his, uh, his sister was going to play instead of him tonight, but um, for whatever reason they decided to uh, just go with this guy instead. Might not be regretting that now. Nice stack of Ancients here for Kingy. He's going to pick them up with the Dominator and the Flat Cannon. It will be a piece of cake. Meanwhile, Antonio Lamau and MFC are going to pick up a free Roshan. And uh, the writing really is on the wall for Bell Gaming here. They are, there's no real uh, comeback for them. They are definitely not going to... They're not going to get anything else out of this, I don't think. Yasha finished up, Antonio Lamar with the Ags for the longer chrono and the uh, cooldown, decreased cooldown. Guardian Beast finished up on the has fallen to the dire. I see Shadow Shaman also has a mech and an arcane orb, that is quite odd. But, I mean, different lanes, you've got a Roman ambulance bounty I guess. Maybe the Refresher Orb or the Ags would have been better. Bounty, the warding away here. Playing the Sean Abwe or a little bit of a war here. High ground, no, gonna right click it. It looks like Bounty is gonna build a, a vice, a Scythe of Ice as well, which is gonna be pretty brutal. Oh, big daddy. Hi. Time is money. <laughs> Get some with the sentry ward, the spider senses were tingling. Pop the sentry ward and immediately got the track down. Gonna have a D ward from Blade Shawn attempt. Nobody with the quelling blade though. Swap though in and uh, Banner King left outside. Make Bloodseeker great. He's taking a lot of damage there. He doesn't have the um, Oh, the owl! And it's going to be 4 for 1, Zeus will fall, and it is actually going to be 5. There's a buyback from Blazeron, and Stevie, and Spectre. They're going to try and make a stand here. This will be the last fight, unless something uh, good happens for Belgium here. There's the owl from Spectre. They are throwing out so much damage. Blainertron though, gonna go down to Kingy, who's sitting with his BKB up, and just throwing out damage. Kingy gonna go down, look, that's the age of pop. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Spectre, they find the Spectre kill on the back side of that, and the Quap blinks forward to try and find the bounty. She does find the bounty, but now she's gonna trouble Zeus TP's in with the lightning bolt right on top of her. And uh, Faceless Void picks up the killing blow. Nothing that Bell Gaming can do but watch the base be destroyed. GG is victory. 27 minutes. And uh, Betty Attack take game one in this best of two. Uh, best of three. Um, game. Zeus be with you. Really well played. Um, really well played Betty Attack 786 there.